Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. So today I'm going to show you how to use the new layers view that came out with Divi 4.4. So I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough. I'm going to show you some of the tips that you can do to um, increase your efficiency basically when you're working on your website. So this is going to be a little bit slower version than the video from Elegant Themes. So I hope you like that. I'm going to actually show you how to do that here real quickly. All right, well, let's get started. All right, so this new feature allows you to quickly navigate and edit and all that stuff quickly around your Divi layouts. So this feature actually shows up in, when you go to the page and you click on the purple settings icon and it's right down here in the middle. Okay, so it has a little like layers icon since this is called layers view. Now there is a keyboard shortcut. If you're into that, you can click control L and there it is. So this little modal pop-up window, this is separate from like, let's, let's say for example, my settings here. Okay. You see that that's a separate window. Um, and even, um, it's even separate from like the search. And, um, if you wanted to have the help, you know, the Divi builder helper here and, you know, keyboard shortcuts and all that. So that's separate from that. Now this is one by default and I haven't found any way that you can turn this off or hide it. That's okay. It can kind of just be there. Now I want to show you just quickly what it does. This isn't really a big update. Um, I mean, in my opinion, it's not super useful to me. Um, it may grow on me or, you know, maybe there'll be more things added to it and things like that. So I'm going to show you quickly what it can do. So, you know, again, you can drag this wherever you want it. Um, and get out of it but there's four main things that you can do here with this thing um the first i guess is kind of obvious but you can view your page structure so here you can see i have a header section each one of these is sections by the way like this one's a specialty section that's why it's you know the color the same color as um in here so if i open this i can click open and close all and see how the, the colors line up the blue section the green row and the gray module all right or, or columns and modules so there they're all open and so it does give you a nice view of your page structure so that's one of the things it does another thing it allows you to search um so let's say i know i have a section called download and i'm i'm at the top here of the page i can quickly type see that click download and this one of the other features is allows you to navigate quickly so anytime you click on anything like that um, you can navigate the page. Now, one thing, it's a quirk. I don't like you have to undo what you search to get everything back. I don't, I don't think that was intended. Maybe they'll fix that. So like I said, you can click anywhere and navigate around the page. So that's really handy. Um, another thing is this filter here. So it's kind of, I don't know, at first I overlooked it, but when you click filter, it allows you to filter by section, rows, column, modules, and, you know, global elements, things like that. And then it goes into all the different, you know, um, maybe, you know, I don't know. You just want to go to the blurbs and that'll see how it highlights them, it kind of grays them out. So if I wanted to go to, you know, this one here, see that it's pretty handy, um, for that. But, and again, I don't like how I can't, I can't click out of it. It's like I'm in there now. Um, and I have to click to close that filter to get back. That's maybe it's just me. I don't know. Um, so those are really the four of the main things, you know, the structure, searching, filtering, and just navigating. Um, you can also do literally anything else that you can do in the normal settings out here. So what I mean by that, you, you can see it has duplicate and you know, the trash and the settings, and it even has the little, uh, menu, which is the same as right clicking. So it has all of these things that any, you know, any of the sections, rows, modules, columns, they already have. So at any point I can right click, you know, like on this blurb here and get all the settings. I can do anything that I could normally do when I'm just working out here. So that's kind of cool. Um, on the flip side, if I'm, uh, let's see, if I'm over here and I want to go view this, um, see now it's a new setting here. It says go to layer. So of course it's going to open that up and go exactly here to this layer. Okay. So anytime you're in the builder like that, um, you know, you can click go to layer. 
Okay, so it's like that. Now, one of the last things, and I, I think this could be helpful, especially if you have a long landing page. Um, first of all, I like, I like that they have the open and close all. But let's say I want to put the footer, you know, at the top. I don't know why, but, you know, you can just kind of drag it up. See that? It's really handy um, for that. So I literally just moved that footer section to the top. That's that's handy. I do like that. And then anything inside here, um, you can drag like the columns, you know, put the one on the left or right, that type of thing. So that I can see that that could be helpful. Um, again, I'm not I'm not really sure if I'm going to be using this or not. It might be another one of those things that that grows on me. Um, but that's that's really all there is to this feature. It's not really it's not really a feature that's like in your face or in the builder constantly in my opinion it's kind of one of those extras that um, is optional if that's the way you like to build if that's the way you like to use um, these different settings I, I rarely in fact never use any of these down here like the help or the search I mean you know I, I just have everything memorized I know how it's going and all that stuff but again there could be a time and place for this um, Actually, there's, I just noticed there are a couple more settings. Expand section. Does that, does that do what I think it does? It doesn't do anything. Huh. Uh, maybe if, maybe if um, everything's closed. Okay, it's closed that. All right, so I'm going to click um, on this header and say expand section. Huh. Okay, it might be a bug. I assume that that just means this is going to open up here. Um, because what it's doing is just going to that section like when I click. Okay, so I think one of the things that this could be really helpful for is if you have a lot of like overlapping content. Um, and, and literally it's called layers. So think of like if you have um, negative margins and Z index and transform controls and all that type of stuff, it, it could be kind of hard to like, um, you know, where's my, to get the module, you know what I mean, out here when you're working in your layout. So, and this would solve that by going in here and opening up all of your um, little things and be able to like, okay, now I'm at my image settings that I couldn't find otherwise. So that's another cool feature that I can definitely see being useful. Okay, so I hope you found this useful. I do this with a lot of the Divi updates that come out because I find that users were asking me um, to slow it down a little bit. You know, we can't quite see... Um, how to use this new feature you know it's nice to have a little bit of a walkthrough even though it's short um it's a little bit of a better walkthrough um let's say than the ones from elegant themes than the promo videos all right if you like this type of video if you want me to keep doing it for feature updates then hit that thumbs up button and comment and subscribe and that'll let me know all right well we'll see you guys in the next video